Good morning, everyone. I'm 3 News Now Chief Meteorologist Mark Stitz. It's going to be another hot, humid and windy day, and that's going to help fuel some strong to possibly severe storms as we go into the evening. But as we go into that lunch hour, we start to see a few more clouds, temperatures in the low 80s. And this afternoon, many of us making it into the mid and upper 80s. Now, a cold front will start to push into northeast Nebraska first, probably by about the middle part of the afternoon. I think by 3 o'clock, we're starting to see a broken line of storms form as those storms pop up could produce some pockets of large hail and some strong wind. I think heading towards the five o'clock hour, though, we start to see those storms strengthen even more and eventually they'll form into a solid line. That's going to lower the hail threat a little bit, but also increase the damaging wind threat as those storms approach the Omaha Metro. Omaha, I think we could make it through the evening commute dry, probably closer to seven o'clock. More of those storms will be pushing through the Omaha Metro, likely to impact the College World Series game at that point. And then the storms will begin to weaken as they push farther southeast of the metro, but this is a slow moving system. So Omaha still dealing with showers and thunderstorms at 10 o'clock. Notice that the leading edge of those getting farther southeast and could take until 11 o'clock midnight to really push through northwest Missouri. Now the cold front will stall across the area at that point, and that's going to continue to trigger more scattered showers and thunderstorms throughout the day on Wednesday, but plenty of dry time mixed in. And thanks to that cold front, a little bit more comfortable midweek as well. So today 88 degrees, wind than the showers and storms this evening into the night. Wednesday, much cooler, 72 for your Juneteenth activities outside, but again, hit and miss showers and storms throughout the day. Thursday and into Friday, rain chances start to pull back and temperatures will start to increase. Thursday, mid 80s, Friday into the low 90s, and we'll keep it pretty close to 90 over the weekend and into early next week.